would be Monday Morning Motivation. This morning, I am very excited to talk to you about a lesser known holiday that is near and dear to our Father's heart and therefore should be near and dear to our heart and is coming up very soon. What I'm talking about is Pentecost. When I bring up the word Pentecost to people who don't understand it, a lot of times ideas of wild and crazy, out of control church services and congregations doing really weird stuff comes to mind. But that is not at all what Pentecost is about. Pentecost is, in truth, the drawing of chaos to order, from being lost to being purposed. It's about knowing who you are and who God has created you to be because of the revelation he's given you personally. Let me clarify just a little bit further by going into a little bit of history. Get my teacher hat on today. <laughs> okay, so in the Old Testament, Pentecost, yes, it was in the Old Testament too. Pentecost was when the Ten Commandments were given to Moses. It was the revelation to these lost and confused people who had just experienced the Exodus only 50 weeks earlier. They had been released from their slavery. They were free now, but they didn't know where they were going. They didn't know their purpose. They didn't know what was next. They were a little scared. And so God revealed to them very specific instructions, purpose in the Ten Commandments. And then in the New Testament, we come across a group of people who had also experienced freedom like never before because they had encountered Jesus on a personal level. When the disciples knew that Jesus had resurrected and had instructed them that there is going to be more purpose given to you, specific instructions and special mm, ability given to them. All they had to do is wait that same amount of time, those 50 weeks. Oh, God is so beautifully purposeful. And at the end of those 50 weeks, they were there in that upper room, purposely waiting, expecting, understanding. God was about to give them some clear understanding, some new revelation, tools that they needed for the next season. And he did. And the Holy Spirit was given. And when the Holy Spirit was given, new assignments were given to those, and those disciples. New understanding was given to those disciples. New purpose was given to those men. So now, what are we supposed to do with that? When Pentecost comes this Sunday, what are we supposed to do with that information? We're supposed to act like the disciples did. We're supposed to act like the Israelites did. We're supposed to act like people for generations have at the end of that 50 week period of time. We were supposed to sit and listen, expect and understand change is here. Spring has sprung, time has come from chaos to purpose, from lost to found. We are being called from where we th thought we were to where God has called us to be. He is revealing to us the tools, the instructions, the assignments he has for us in the next season. And it's all happening in this time at Pentecost. All right, put your expectancy on, turn up that anticipation and listen because the Father is speaking. I love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.